I, I had nothing to do with all this. You have to believe me. I guess you just don't know what you're capable of until... I mean, anyone can just lose it. I was just trying to protect Jenny. I ended up doing the opposite, didn't I? Oh, hello, love. Are you not feeling well? I'm, I'm fine. You and Stephen haven't had a row, have you? Oh, or is he a snorer? I've had one or two of them. Snoring should be a defence against murder in my book. <laughs> well, if it comes to me offing him, I will use you as my expert witness. Right. I'll be back late this afternoon. Do you want anything from town? No, I'm all good, thanks. You have a nice time. Are you sure you're all right? You look a bit peaky Arita, to me. Rita, I'm fine. Stop looking. See you later. Hey, did you come to bed at all last night? Uh, I just, I, I, I couldn't sleep and I was, um, I was reading and I didn't want to wake you. Oh, what are you reading? Those. Oh, Hamstray, my boyfriend. Yeah, it's more boyfriend and a big hamster. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that it helped me sleep. You know, I had things buzzing around my mind as well last night about our big move. But we're delaying it, yeah? I mean, you know, we agreed. Which gives us time to put things in place. You know, I'm wondering about a, a local bank account, you know? Um, stop us being stung by commission, exchange rates, and make sure we don't, uh, well, take a hit from a dip in the pound, lose all our savings. I think we should open a joint account. Today? It's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do some research. In the meantime, you catch up on that sleep. Hey, shouldn't you be getting ready for work? Do you know, it's not just that he chose Weathy County over our anniversary meal. Ah. Oh. It's just the fact that he didn't even have the guts to tell me. I know. And I'm as disappointed in him as you are, but you made your feelings very clear last night, telling him not to bother coming home. Yeah, but was that the right thing to do, or did I give him a licence to get even drunker with Kevin and stay out even later? Well, if they stayed out very late and got properly drunk, he'll really be suffering now, won't he? I hope so. I really do. Ooh, tea. <sighs> There's one open at the back of the fridge, Nina. Here yeah, though. I'm not sure we should be encouraging tartar sauce on a sausage sandwich. Empty? Well, then, I'll purchase another. No, no, I'm, I'm very near now. I'm not far. I, I intended to walk along the canal, but uh, according to Brian, the footpath is closed due to forensic activity. Yes. Yeah, he, he sent me a photograph. Uh, can't open it, of course, on my phone, but, uh, Anyway, tell your customer that uh, tartar sauce will be available in approximately eight minutes. Come on, Freddy. Come on. The man said Tim was at football. Sally must have been furious, but apparently Kevin got them some VIP box with a, an ex-player or something. Oh, who was it? Not Tommy Orpin. Yeah, that was him. All oh, right. Well, yeah. I mean. All oh, right. Well, yeah. I mean. What? You're not going to say no to Tommy O. Uh, what about an anniversary? Well, even I'd risk a night in doghouse for that. All oh, right. Well, your flaming wish is granted. Oh, and you can forget about that free pastry I was going to give you an all. Well, hang on a minute. I can't be in doghouse for some at Tim's done. No. No. She keeps you on your toes, David. Flaming killed him. Right, come on. Should we go in my car? <laughs> You've not met this client, have you, Jane Seaton? She drives a 911. I need to impress her, so we're going in mine. 
wasn't planning on driving my car into the meeting. Yeah, look, do you think it's better if me and you do the meeting? This could be a big deal. No, she knows this Jane woman. Yeah, well, that's worse. She'll know if Carl's acting weird. I'm sure she's OK. You're not the way you. Stephen's shown his face today. You need to stop obsessing over him. Listen. I'm very worried about you. You are sharing an office with an actual psycho who drugged you. Yeah, we've been through this, OK? We've got to bide our time. That's yeah. what the police said. How That's much, what we've got to do. How much time do we have to bide, though? Well, as long as it takes, Peter. They know best. They, should, they must do. Yeah, well, I'm not sure they do. Because I don't think they're doing anything. And he's walking around free. Well, he's not even in that building, so you're wasting your energy. Peter, you have to let this go. Just for the time being. I need to go. better my brain's still on pub hours i should be prepping hot pots around now well oh, enjoy the break you'll be busy soon enough somewhere a great deal warmer oh good news i've found an account with an offer on that was quick what an, an account in thailand yeah yeah it'll make our finances a lot easier out there it's an excellent exchange rate a uh, very good interest rates oh there is a catch offer ends today never trust a finance company that threatens now or never no uh -huh. It's a great offer. I think we should get signed up and get our, our savings transferred in. I'll, I'll just have to think about it. Oh, it's a, it's a very good offer. Yeah, I know, but... Which we would be crazy to miss out on. <laughs> Anyone would think you're after my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, think about it. Mm, yes? Yeah. Think. Yeah. Listen, I need to, uh, to nip to the factory. Uh, oh, jacket. Your coat's here. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd prefer to wear the uh, the lighter one today. Are you sure he's not snoring on your sofa as we speak? No, I've just been in to check. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to sneak home knowing that I'm going to work. Oh, honestly, you think they'd grow out of this behaviour, wouldn't you? Oh, no. Tyron said that he's just got a text from Kevin saying that he's working from home today, so his hangover must be as bad as Tim's. Go and bang on Kevin's door. Wake them both up. No, Tim needs to come groveling to me. Anyway, I've left him a final warning. If he hasn't given me the apology of his life by tea time, he can stay at Kevin's indefinitely. Oh, you're not wrong about that hangover. How, How was last night? Well, go on, let's hear it. What are you talking about, the match? Oh, Sal, it was epic. VIP bark, three scram. Tommy O even poured me a beer. Tim would have loved it. Tim would have loved it? No pressure, but your night in had better be worth it. They didn't have a night in. Tim was with you. With me? No. In the VIP box. Stop covering for him, Kevin. It's pathetic. I don't understand. I invited Tim, but he said he had to stay. He'd rather stay in with you. Kirk had the ticket. Money. So where was Tim? Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Reed, I've got a family emergency. Oh, is everything OK? Tim didn't come home last night. Oh, is, is there anything I can do? Elaine, where are you? Tim, it's Kev. Give us a ring when you get this message. Yeah. Hey, this is what Brian tried to send you. Look, the forensics at the canal. Oh, dear. The white tent would suggest a fatality. Ready, Paul? Good boy. I'll come with you for a drive around if you want, but I still think Kevin's covering for Tim. I know Kevin. He wasn't covering. I've yet to meet a husband or ex-husband who won't lie when he's abandoned you to have fun. All of mine have, from Brian onwards. But I've texted him again. So he's definitely not at Kevin's? Allegedly. What if he's had an accident? Maybe he watched the football in a pub or something with other mates. Is this Tim? Would he have walked back along the canal? Why? No. What? No! No! 
everything okay? Oh, just, I'm, I'm sorry. That's... Actually, no, no, it's 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 not. Uh, listen, it's serious. It's an uh, urgent invoice, overlooked, and uh, well, today of all days, there's a glitch with my access code. What kind of glitch? <sighs> no idea. Hey, can I use yours? Uh, um. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I'm not thinking. I'm a bit of a panic, if I'm honest. The last thing we need is a CCJ. C CCJ as in? Yeah, the county court judgment, which will be all over the place if one of our clients cares to look at our financial reputation. Ah, oh, listen, I'll just phone Carla, see if she'll risk saying it over the phone. Yeah, she's with a client, but I'm, I'm sure I could... Hi, uh, Carla, listen, I'm sorry to disturb you. Listen, we're being threatened over a, an overlooked invoice, and, and I, I need an access code now, or... Uh, yeah, uh, Stephen. Uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, mine, mine's fine. Uh, listen, is, is it okay if, if Michael gives me his? You sure? Oh, great. Okay, uh, sorry to interrupt you, and uh, good luck with your client. Well, listen, uh, yeah, write it, write it down there. You found a body. I'm afraid we can't give information out about an ongoing investigation. Well, we're looking for someone. Yeah. Timothy Metcalf is my husband. He didn't come home last night. I, mean, I thought he was at a friend's sleeping off a hangover after the match, but he wasn't. Was it a man or a woman? Just tell us that. It's my son. He's missing. I'm sorry. But if I were you, I'd go to the station and fill out a missing persons report. Yes, yes, we'll do that. Thank you. Gail, come on. What? We need to report Tim missing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that is the price for 500 units, and if you order more, you get a 5% discount. Michael Bailey? So, sorry, I'm not nosing. It's just it's flashing up. Oh. Um, Michael Bailey, whose brother's a footballer? Yeah. Why? Well, he came into King's Robes when I worked there. He'd invented some speaker that you embed in a sewing machine so you can play music. <laughs> what did he call it? That sounds like Michael. Did you buy it? No, I did not buy it. I liked him, though. Um, hem a hummer. That was it. Hum while you hem. Um, I'm going to have to uh, shoot, so I think we've covered many of the points, haven't we? And I can afford you the main PowerPoint, so you can look at it in your own time, and that's lovely. Well, I'm sure while Jane's finishing a two... No, we really have to go. You know what it's like. Falling box, top of the top, isn't it? It's lovely to see you, Jane. So sorry. We've just got so many orders coming in. Not that we can't, you know, fulfil more, but it's... Sarah! OK. <laughs> really lovely meeting you. I'm just saying, maybe not to go on about suspecting that he's drunk on someone's sofa. It won't exactly fill them with urgency. Well, I didn't say I was wrong about that. Yeah, but if you give them the idea that he does I'm that kind sure. of thing... sure. They take all missing person reports serious. I just don't know why they're not telling us more about what they've found in the canal. Are you here about the incident at the canal? The yes, way. Yeah. Are you working on this case? Uh, hello again. Yes, I am. We need to know what you found there, dear Swain. I'm afraid I can't give information out about, oh, about ongoing investigations. Yes, we know. But my husband, Tim, I, he didn't come home last night. We're in the process of identifying the body. We'll know more shortly. Oh, could it be him? He's 51, he's got a shaved head, he's, he's a taxi driver, he's good-looking good and kind-looking, and I wasn't very nice to him. I, I left him a message and I was angry, and could it be Tim? When did you last see your husband? Yesterday. He was supposed to come back for his dinner because it was our anniversary. All I'll say is that if you saw your husband as recently as yesterday, the body's not him. Oh, thank goodness. That was short. Was well, we, we still need to report him missing. Yeah, my colleague on the desk will be able to help you with that. OK? But well, I'll do the reporting. You know, one minute you're telling them he's a drunk, and the next you're confessing that you were angry with him. They'll think he wanted to disappear. 
No answer again. Michael wouldn't steal from us. He wouldn't. He's got glory. Then where is he, Sarah? Oh, sorry. I just got mine. Why aren't you picking up? Well, I know my, my hands on silent. You transferred money? Yeah, well, no, that, that was Stephen. Stephen? No, it was your access code. Yeah, I gave it to him. He called Nearly £250,000, Michael. Because of the CCG. How much? No, I don't. He, he, called, he called you and he said it was okay. No, he didn't call me. It's definitely, definitely not okay. Is this true? Yes, yes, it's true. Of course. Of course, it's Stephen. Do you mean, do you mean of course? Did you know he was going to do no. this? No. Then what, Sarah? He's not always been entirely honest. He's borrowed money against my grand's house without a permission. What? And you didn't think to mention this until now? I, I mean, he can't just... Can we not just block it? I'm calling the police. How could you be so stupid? Well, if anyone can get the taxi fellas out on the hunt and asking questions, Eileen can. Hi, yeah. ah, is Gail that with you? Roy said. No, 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 no. She's uh, just popped home. Oh, if you're going that way, could you nip into the cabin? Just ask Brian if he's seen Tim. Get him to ask about. Still not hiding from you, is it? Oh, hiding? Yes, you know, last night's VIP uh, football match. How come <laughs> everyone is talking about Tim and nobody knows where he is? Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, Elaine, I was looking for you. The, uh, that box. Uh... Sorry, what box? Uh, you said there were some things um, in, of mine in the flat. Uh, I, I think it must be in that box. I need my leather journal. Uh, I, st I went by the estate agents and they, they wouldn't lend me the keys. I should think not. It'll have to wait, Stephen. Tim's missing. We've been all over to the canal, the police station. Oh, dear. Well, that's... Um... But, yeah, I need to borrow the key just for a little while and I'll, I'll, I'll give it back. You could show a bit more concern. Our nerves are shredded. We thought at one point he might be in that roof box they found. Oh, oh well, uh, that, it, that'd be, um... Oh, glad it, glad it wasn't the case. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you. All right, sweet. Everything is always about him. Well, he's a busy man, bless him. There's important things on his mind. Oh, there's my phone. Sorry about that. Oh. I haven't understood a word you've said. Right, I can't sit down. I'll be picked up by the wayfarer. What? Look, calm down and tell me what you want. The house? Yeah. What about it? And you gave him your access code because? Um, there was a glitch, uh, I think, with, with his. I blocked it. But you didn't mention this to your colleague here? No. Why should I? Is there a law against that? Listen, no offence, but I did ask for dear Swain. Well, she's in briefings. If you're happy to wait a couple of hours. It's fine. Did Mr. Reed force you to give him your bank access code? Uh, um, uh, more, more tricked. Did he use violence, intimidation? No. You realise this includes aggressive language, blackmail or threats? Yeah. So he did use these? No. Give me strength. Did Grant say where she was when you rang her? I'm sure she'll be here soon. I can't believe this is the first we're hearing about this equity release thing. It were him who stopped her borrowing against the house before, wasn't it? Do you remember when she said she wanted to pay for a lawyer for Max? And that cruise for Sam. Yeah. It made it out like it was to protect her, but I bet that's because he'd already nabbed all the equity himself. I honestly thought he'd pay it all back. I I've tried to call him and he's not picking up. I should get back to Sally. Oh, yeah, you get back to Sally. Why, well, your mum's getting robbed from her only son. You make it sound like he's the first family member to do that to her. Ooh. Oh, come on, Mum, that's ancient history. Sally's in a state. This morning, she thought the police had dredged him out of the canal in a roof box. Who'd bury a body in a roof box? When a bit of old carpet will do. I mean, they're not cheap, them things. Cost a few hundred, at least. Uncle Stephen, actually, he wrote one off, do you remember? In a multi-storey car park. No wonder he turned to crime. Well, don't let us interrupt your wordle. Actually, I'm checking our bank accounts. If he can rob off his own mother... Mm. Oh, well, look, you're going to have to check mine. Uh, I'm hopeless on those banking things, and Face ID never recognises me when I'm stressed. Uh, right. Don't worry, I'm sure this uh, equity release thing, you know, is a, a one-off, a desperate act. Carla thinks that he was dosing her with LSD. What, for free? She reckons it's what's triggered those latest episodes. 
that she's had funny turns before, hasn't she? And I mean, Stephen was in Italy. Mum, she is convinced it was him and that he dosed that Rufus bloke. And now he's dead. Hold on, she's accusing Stephen of killing someone? Sounds like Carl is having one of the paranoias. Well, that's what he wanted people to think so he could control the factory. But quarter of a million pounds, I mean, is that possible? I mean, surely there just must have been some misunderstanding. Mm, I guess if he saw the opportunity. But I mean, killing someone, I mean, that's in a different league. Did you tell your gran all this? What Carl has been saying about him? No, just about the house thing. Good, because that's enough to give her a meltdown. Where is she? Whatever Carla uh, has told you... You know exactly what Carla told me. What you did to her was torture. You made her believe she was losing her mind. Now, what kind of person would do that? <laughs> I, uh... I didn't. She said, uh... She said herself she, she got it wrong. You're gonna suffer for what you did. And if the police aren't doing it, I'm gonna do it. You understand? Does Carla know you're, uh, here? Is that, uh, Carla? Oh, why don't you answer it? Tell her where you are, what you're doing. So she wouldn't approve. As I have a, a meeting to get to. No. No, no. I'm not gonna let you walk out. No chance. Not this time. So we stay here till you tire of throwing unfounded accusations at me? Listen, why don't I agree to just stay out of your way for a while? Take one more step. Come. Oh, I will. Give you a chance to calm down. That <laughs> temper over shadows, over nothing at all. Perhaps it's you who's suffering with a little psychosis. <laughs> Oh, you really don't want to keep pushing me. I'm not going to stop pushing you. Has it occurred to you that you might have got it all wrong? No. And I'm not going to stand here and let you lie to me again. I would rather see you dead. Oh, would you? What on earth is this? Are you threatening my son? He deserves more than threats. Oh, for goodness sake, Peter, get out. Your days are numbered here. I'll see you again. Just go, go, go. Uh, Come on, sweetheart. Uh, there's no reasoning with a man like that. He's a caveman. As opposed to what? A businessman? A man who makes it his business to steal the house from his own mother? So sorry. We're just, we're looking for Stephen. Well, actually, we're looking for me ma'am. He's probably looking for Stephen. Last I knew, he went to the factory. Well, he's not going to stick around there. What now? He's stolen money from the factory account. A quarter of a million pounds. <laughs> oh, well, I must have been small fry. I mean, did I even know him? Well, Sarah knew him. A little bit. He stole from her gram, but, uh, well, she decided not to tell us. Do you know, it has been one thing after another since since Johnny died. I just I feel like I'm being punished for something. You know, Leo murdered and now Stephen's a thief. Hello? Look, I feel sorry for her, but we've not got time to be yes, agony apps. Not if he's going to go through the old back catalogue. You've got to you talk. Right? Your grand's not here. You. We need Let to keep moving. All right, bye. That was the police. 
They found a body in the canal and it was Leo's dad, Teddy. I saw the police there. What, in a, in a roof box? So he was murdered, like Leo. <sighs> Look, I'm really sorry, but we need to keep looking for me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, of course. You stole from me, sweet. Oh, what is it you want, Mother? Admission? OK, I borrowed money. It would have been paid back today. I, I've closed a deal. It's still stealing, my love. Or maybe you owe me. Oh, yeah. yeah compensation for, for years of abandonment. <laughs> Stephen, you're in your 60s. Well, uh, so the, the past shouldn't count. I should just be over it, being uh, considered disposable. Oh, please don't say that. Disposable, don't. It was years ago. I was a teenager. I had no choice. Oh, you always have a choice, and you, you chose to discard me. Why do you think I've always worked so hard to impress you, but it's never seemed enough? Well, if you'd asked me for money... What, you would have given me charity to make yourself feel better? No, sweetheart, to help you. Oh. Where are you going? To a meeting. If you want me to pay you back, I need to work. No. Stephen, please, we've got to talk about this, We right? don't. Now, let me get that cab, or we'll go right back to where we used to be, estranged, for good this time. Well, I'm not going to let you do it. I th 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 this time, you have no choice. Well, I'm not moving. So if you want to go, you're going to have to push past me. All right. The salon's all locked up. There was a customer outside. Grab missed the appointment. Do you think we should call the police? Well, they say what? My grand's not answering the phone. Yeah, you know, David's right. You know, Stephen will just be lying low till the phones come through, and Grandma will be just sitting furiously in front of her TV with a jeans. Would you just go up there and check, please? Take a drive. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Shona's just texted. She's with Elaine in the cafe, and she said she saw Stephen earlier. Right, well, let's go and talk to her. David. You know that roof box that your grand bought, Steve? Yeah. What happened to it? Well, he totaled it, didn't it? It'd be at the tip, I imagine. Where do all roof boxes go to die? His roof box? Nearly put me back out that thing. Took four of us to get it on your mum's roof. Some machines, wasn't it? Yeah. Any sign of Tim? Not that I've heard of. Well, come on, let's go. Hang in a minute. That roof box, you're not suggesting the one they've got out of the canal is Stephen's, are you? No, that one was, in your words, total. OK, OK, well, then what, what if we tell the insurance company that, that Stephen forced me to give him my access code? So it's theft, not negligence. Yeah, brilliant. Just pop down the cop shop then and tell you made a false statement. OK. <laughs> or, or what if... Michael, I... just please go home. Send everybody home. You're not sacking me. I just really need to not look at you right now or hear any more brilliant ideas, all right? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> hey, what's happened? <laughs> Stephen Reed's happened. And he said he'd bring the key back. He did. So if he trashed the roof box on top of Grand's car, we'd have seen, like, some damage, wouldn't we, Bob? I haven't noticed anything. Oh, so what you're saying, he didn't trash the roof box, he gave it to a murderer? Or he was the murderer. Elaine said she gave him the keys to the flat to get some bits and bobs, but well, that was a while back. Maybe he's hiding out there. Oh, yeah. Cos I don't know if I want to go hiding somewhere, first thing I do is ask for some keys. Have you got any better ideas? Hey, have you seen Stephen? No. Well, if we did, he won't get very far. Well, I get first shot at him. I should have kept hold of him when I had the chance, but Audrey got in the way. Me mum did? Well, I guess the police will be trying to find him now he's stolen all that money. But isn't it all about, like, phone tracking these days? Well, if they could just tap a few keys and know where everybody was, they'd have news on Tim, wouldn't they? Uh, table two. I've been waiting for some time. Oh. Would you like another tea? Oh, boy. I know this is selfish, but I just feel like everyone's running around looking for Stephen. 
and I know they need to catch him, but it's like they've just forgotten about Tim. Well, what, what exactly do you fear may have happened? Oh, I don't know. I just... I just wish I hadn't left that message telling him not to come home. I mean, maybe he's deliberately making me worry, so I'll be more relieved than angry when he does show up, but... What if he's had an accident or something? Well, uh, have you composed a list of people that you think may have been with him at the football game? A and all the places he might be if indeed an accident has occurred? A list? No. Well, his lists allow one to be uh, systematic, which, which I think might help with your anxiety. We start with the hospitals in the area, um, um, perhaps further afield, and then well, begin to make phone calls and eliminate certain scenarios. There we are. Thank you, Roy. Roy, um, is it OK if I go? I just feel like I ought to be out there helping look for Audrey. Yes, yes, uh, I can manage. Yes. Ooh, table two. It's a two egg on toast, one scrambled, one fried, the scrambled with beans, a special, a tea, a decaf coffee with skimmed. Okay, thanks. I'm saying be careful. He might be capable of more than we thought. He's the one who needs to be careful. I could get the key from the estate agent. <laughs> When you said he was capable or worse, what did you mean? I think he's killed Leo. He was going out with Jenny, and I think he's done Leo's dad at all. You don't know that. Look, it's a long way from Stephen had a roof box to Stephen is a murderer. Fifteen minutes you can. It's totally unacceptable. Have you found Audrey yet? No. Do you think she confronted him about the money? No, I'm calling the police. She must have walked out of the flat. Who are you? Detective now. Hello? I think someone's gonna notice if a bloke's got an old lady slung over the shoulder. Right. Or wrapped in a sheet or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. If the worst would have happened, Audrey would still be in the flat he'd elected. Yeah, well... Red Bank's got CCTV, Well, well come on now. Has it? Yeah. All right, bye. How's Mum? Police are on the way. They want to take a statement, apparently, so... Right, we'll let you know. Hey. You've not found him, then? No, no, we, we think he's got Audrey. What? Why? Well, because David reckons he's been killing people, and, and I'm not just talking about Rufus. And I had him there. I had him right there. And when did you have him? When I was trying to get hold of you? Yes, but I didn't know he'd nick the money then, did I? Well, you might have done if you'd answered your flaming phone. Yes, I know. Somebody in there? Audrey? Audrey? Audrey, are you in there? Can you open the door? Is Stephen in there with you? No. It's all my fault. What? Don't be daft. Audrey, can you let me in, love, please? Right, go to the game. Yes, I thought you might wish to know that, uh, well, it appears that uh, Stephen has stolen a substantial amount of money from Audrey. Yeah, Sarah was here, she said. I'm sorry. I brought a quiche. Huh? It, it, broccoli and stilton. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Roy. That's, that's kind. That's really, that's really kind. Oh, just, it just feels like I'm in this nightmare where people keep ringing the doorbell to bring me even more bad news. 
Did Carla tell you that he's run off with all the money from the factory? Oh, dear. Yeah. Maybe she needs a bad news quiche and all. I'll put Kettle on, take a pew. It's pride. It's all pride, trying to prove himself. Oh, I should have kept him as a child, made him feel loved. Audrey, you know, loads of people, they have difficult childhoods, but they don't all rob the mothers, or worse. Worse? But did him. Did he give you any idea at all where he was going? Oh, Audrey. Ma'am, did Stephen hurt you? Do you need to go to the hospital? Hurt me? I hurt him. Hurt him how? Did you cost him? Oh, for God. Have you all taken leave of your senses? Let me know if you find him. I want to hear first, OK? Yeah, likewise. Hey! Hey, is Audrey all right? Well, she's blaming herself, but, yeah, and bless her, she doesn't even know the half of it. Did she? she say where Stephen is? Well, I'd put money on it. He's at Manchester Airport having a cold beer while he waits for a flight to Thailand. Don't the, the police will be checking the flights. They'd know if you'd booked anything. Can't trust the police. Where are you going? I'm going to the airport no. because before they take his mug shock, I want to make sure that his face is properly rearranged. Peter, no! You said wait. I trusted you. I'm going to go and talk to the family. He may have said something or they know something that will help. Yeah, well, good luck with that. They're all in the salon there. It's a pity you didn't do this before, innit? I don't believe it. There's a huge difference between stealing money and what you're accusing him of. Yeah, but he's not just stolen money, though, has he? I mean, there's, there's, there's all the forgery, Sarah's DNA letter, and there's the, um... LSD. LSD. Yeah, well, that's a long way from taking a life. Exactly. And I think even if he did drug Carla and Rufus, he's not to kill them. Yeah, but he didn't have to kill Carla, did he? Because he got her out of the way. And you only want to think that Rufus was an accident because you don't want to believe that he's capable of murder. What do you think he's capable of murder? You see, how long did he think it would take you to realise he'd stolen money from the factory? He knows that we get notifications from the bank. Well, you see, there you go. He's desperate. I mean, he knew you'd find out, but he still took the cash anyway. And why? Because he's on the clock. I mean, a roof box has popped out of the canal and a body has sprang out of it. I mean... All this to get Jenny, though. If it wants us sick, it'd be quite romantic. Hold on. Stephen and I had a relationship before that, remember? Yeah, but weren't you selling your house? And weren't there, like, a slight whiff of life insurance? Oh, please. You're all acting like a pack of hyenas. Accusing my son, your uncle, of murder. Gran, I didn't... Oh, shut up, Sarah. Not another word. Otherwise, I'm not going to speak to any of you ever again. Hi. Oh, dear Swain. Oh, you called about Stephen Reed, a concern for welfare of Audrey Roberts. Audrey Roberts is perfectly well. Oh, Sarge. Excuse me. Swain. This flight was brought forward to when? Do we know when the booking was changed? Uh, Stephen Reed is definitely on the passenger list. OK, thanks. Stephen Reed is on a flight from Manchester to Bangkok, boarding in 45 minutes, Terminal 1. He hasn't checked in yet. Radio Airport Police, and let's get to Manchester Airport. Control receiving. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Take care. It's just so hard to take him. People should be made to have a QR code tattooed on their forehead. I think that might be logistically quite problematic. Hang yeah, on, just... Uh... Just a few key pieces of information, like, I don't know, good in a crisis, trustworthy, no sense of direction, boop, kind, utterly dependable, excellent quiche, boop, thief, liar, selfish criminal, 
think I nearly went to Thailand with him. I almost had my bags packed. I imagine he'll be attempting to to disappear to somewhere quite similar to avoid justice. He'll not get far. Over there! Next! Uh, according to my, uh, my friend Google, I, I believe you've got a flight to Frankfurt uh, shortly. If you've got a seat, I'd like to book it and an onward flight to uh, Phnom Penh. Well, it's your lucky day. There is a seat. I'll have to get you checked in quickly, though. You're playing into the wire and since the cut-off time. How many bags are you checking in? Uh, a cabin only. You travel light, sir. Any passport? <sighs> I'll need to see your passport. Good, yeah, yeah that'd um, be great. From this number. Any CCTV. Yeah. She's gone in hospitals, he's calling pubs. Right. Thanks. Well, it was packed in the flying horse last night. He knows Tim, so he's gonna check the CCTV. Oh, nobody of his description at the infirmary. Still no sign. No. How was Audrey? Did you have a nice afternoon tea? Audrey's in meltdown. The rest of the family thinks Stephen's not just a thief, but a murderer. And not just Rufus. Who then? Well, anyone who got in his way. Rufus, Leo, Teddy. Who? But Tim got in his way. Tim put himself in his way. He was pushing him. That's what Tim was doing, wasn't he? That's what he was doing. You're, you're certain you'll be all right on your own? Yeah, Rita won't be long. I would prefer to, to wait until she returned. Or you could accompany me back to the cafe. <sighs> to be honest, Roy, I just... Fancy crawling under my duvet for a cry, and you don't need to see that. Very well. But thank you, though, for the quiche and for the company. I thought today was going to keep going downhill, but you put a stop to that. I feel like the worst is over. You take care now. See what the housemates have been up to later. We'll have all the very latest from the house in Big Brother on ITV2 tonight at 9. But on the way next here on ITV1, Lexi is forced to do the unthinkable in all new crime drama, Payback.